in 50 yards. Turn left. Please make a U-turn where safe. We are back with more Grand Theft Auto 4 Complete Story Breakdown. It has been over a month since we've done this. So, got a whole new logo. Hope you guys enjoy it. And let's just get right into it because I'm going to try to get through the rest of this series. So, uh, as you know before, where we left Nico, he was basically doing a bounty for the police. Well, I, I guess not really for the police. It was more for uh, Brucey. And, uh, and yeah, everything uh, worked out for them, I guess. And uh, as you saw in the very beginning, it was just basically opening up those missions. Now we can go back and actually do more of those police uh, bounties, I guess you can call them, and, uh, and all that. So let's continue with Grand Theft Auto 4. Dimitri. Hey. Sit down. What's the problem? What do you think? Mikael, Mr. Fausto. Uh-huh. You're given a choice. Kill your best friend or die. What do you do? And there is no way out? Not now. Not after you killed Petrovic's son. You don't have any family. You could run. Wherever you go, people will find you if they want to badly enough. And for this, they want blood. But you and Mikhail, you have so much history. Sure. Well, I killed the boy. So they want me to? No. I told them you were a hired gun. And they said, as long as you were the one to kill him, you'd be spared. <laughs> so that's the way it is. Yes, that's the way it is. He'll be leaving his house in a little while and heading for the club. Do what you have to do. You know, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that we must obey the rules of the game. We can pick the game, Nico Belik, but we cannot change the rules. See you later. Well, that's it then, I guess, huh? We are totally starting this back. It's been over a month, and we're starting this out with a bang. Nico has got to kill Faustin, and that's all that needs to be said. Nico Bellic. You and Dimitri are taking over, no? 
This is not about taking over. You brought this on yourself. You pushed things too far. You would be dead if it wasn't for me. That is what Dimitri wanted when you killed Vlad. Dimitri, my brother. You see this? This statue says we are brothers for life. And now he betrays me. You didn't give him a choice. <laughs> you should have been calm. No one, not Dimitri, not anyone tells me to come. You think Dimitri would have survived prison without me? He'd just be some prison queen. Had I not been there, meet for some gin monkey. I am not dead yet. Some are still loyal to me. Guards! Excellent, a good you fight! fight. Like a <laughs> like spineless target, Beric! Nothing, Beric! You are weak! Give up! The strong survive! And the weak die! You will see! I go where I am for reasons! Do not abandon your leader! Stop this man! Yes, what is this dog? Too many people, Mr. Faustin! Please, let's be quiet, okay? <laughs> How do you want to die, sweetheart? Pussycat in sight! Oh, a bit. It's nothing! Faustin is dead. You did a good thing. A hard thing. But a good thing. Hopefully this will mean peace with Petrovic. Well, there you have it. Faustin is now a goner. And, uh, and that's pretty much concludes this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is Out of the Hat Gaming. I'm Anthony Brown. If you enjoyed this series and want to see me continue to do these GTA 4 videos, please smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. So once again, thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.